Alert weather. Well, temperatures today were very, very hot across northeast Kansas. We see that the Almanac for today here in Topeka had those high temperatures at 95 degrees, a bit above the average here of 88, not near that record of 110 set in 1936. Once again, that year coming up here this month in August, but uh, the humidity is really what put us over the edge today with everyone getting that heat index of at least 100 degrees at times. Uh, we can see right now at our Emporia camp camera sponsored by Valionet Fiber taking a bit of a sweeping view here of the area. Things are pretty clear. We have good visibility, but those temperatures, the 94 degrees feels like 104 with the dew point at 74. Definitely giving us those humid conditions continuing here. I think the feels like should stay at or above 100 for most areas until at least 9 p.m. tonight. And uh, I think we'll start to get down towards only the upper 70s for those low temperatures. So uh, we're definitely uh, getting ready to uh, sort of buckle in for another two to three days at least here of these continued hot and humid conditions. Now, as we look at the rest of the state, uh, we're not even really uh, in the midst of some of the worst temperatures. The further southwest you look is where temperatures continue to increase. So these are the actual temperatures right now in Dodge City and Garden City of 105 and 104 respectively. So not including the heat index there. That is pretty impressive. We'll have to take a look later and see what that is, but I'm assuming it's above 110 right there in other regions. Uh, we can see most of northeast Kansas still within those heat advisories. Uh, no warnings in our area just yet. These purple shaded boxes you can see are just to the north there over the border in Nebraska, but this will last until 8 p.m. Uh, tomorrow here before they'll have a chance at the National Weather Service to possibly issue us another extension of that because it looks like we're going to have uh, the similar conditions for tomorrow, which that already issued heat advisory uh, would apply to, but we're also looking now for Monday as well to be quite humid with dew points once again getting close, or I should say the feels like temperature getting close to or above 105 degrees. So here's that supercast for tomorrow evening, pretty much looking exactly like it was today. And then by Monday and Tuesday, I think we are going to see a little bit less of some pronounced humidity. Maybe that feels like not quite above 100 degrees, but still going to be uh, very humid for the foreseeable future. Wednesday and Thursday look to be the next time we will uh, see some solid chances of rain here. So from now until then, the heat is still going to be baked in, and I don't expect temperatures to really change all that much, but we can look forward to uh, the start of September where I think we will get a nice little uh, blast of cooler air as some relief. 78 for tonight, calm and warm southeast winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. It's 99 for tomorrow, just as hot and humid as today. So what we saw today will almost certainly play itself out once again. And after that, it is a very gradual cool down here until we get back down towards the 80s. It looks like by the end of